Fedor Vasilyevich Tokarev was born on June 14, 1871 in the village of Mekatinskaya, Russian Empire. The father of the inventor married the daughter of a wealthy Cossack, but was powerless and had no land plots. The boy grew up with his sisters Natalia and Aliana. The rest of the children died. From childhood, the future Soviet designer had a passion for blacksmithing, plumbing and roofing. At the age of seven he independently made a small plow out of wood and tin, made patterns for forged fences, made windmills painted with blue, and once carved a church out of brick, which pleased the pious grandmother. Tokarev graduated from the trade, real and cadet schools. He could not enter a higher educational institution due to his low origin. In his youth, he was in charge of a weapons workshop, studied with the masters Alexei Krosnov and Alexander Chernilikov, served in the army as a cornet, centurion, captain, and was distinguished by his courage. In 1902, Tokarev read an obituary dedicated to Sergei Ivanovich Mosin in the weapons collection, magazine, and realized that he must continue the work of the great designer in 1907. He tested small arms in St. Petersburg and upgraded the Mosin rifle into an automatic one. The product was easy to assemble, light, not afraid of dust, dirt and falling from three meters. Since 1916, Fedor Vasilyevich became a valuable specialist of the Tula arms plant. Every year a novelty of his authorship appeared. On the basis of the Stevens Maxim easel gun, the genius developed a light submachine gun, adopted by the Red Army in 1925. Also on its basis, Tokarev created an aviation model, which replaced the previously used Vickers. In 1927, the first Soviet machine gun for revolver cartridges was created, and in 1930, the TT self-loading pistol appeared, which pierced 525mm boards from a distance of 100 steps. During the Great Patriotic War, the model served the Soviet Army well, as it surpassed the German Walther P-38 in power and lethal force. Besides, it had a simple design and low production cost. Initially, the TT was produced in Tula and Izhevsk, but more than 3 million units of various modifications were produced worldwide. Their models appeared in China, Yugoslavia, Korea, Hungary, Poland, Czechoslovakia, and even in Vietnam during the war with the Americans. The original prototype was immortalized in the photographs of the winners of the Great Patriotic War. He was admired by John Moses Browning himself. The TT also became an exhibit in the Paris Army Museum, located in the historic building of the Palace of the Invalids of Louis XIV, where the Charles de Gaulle Memorial is located. The self-loading rifle SVT, or Svetka, as the Red Army called it, appeared in 1938. In its manufacture, a number of steels with unique characteristics were used, and even to specially designed for this weapon, because of this, she turned out to be very capricious. Sensitive to gunpowder, she especially did not like American Lendlease. He gave a lot of soot, clogging the gas channel, and its patency was regulated by a special key, which was often lost. The soldiers were afraid to pick up a rifle, and even the Germans, who captured samples with a full warhead, then did not fire a single shot. But in the USA, the product was studied and served as the basis for the M14, and in Russia for the hunting self-loading carbine of SK-88. Little is known about the gunsmith's personal life in his memoirs. He wrote mainly about the career of an inventor. Tokarev's first wife, Dominika, died in 1926. The second wife's name was Irina. In the first marriage, the son Nikolai was born in 1899. He graduated from the St. Petersburg Cadet Corps, became a designer. The man was fond of motorcycle racing, created his own model of a motorcycle and the world's first air turret turret. 
providing continuous tape power and trouble-free shooting in any position of the aircraft. In 1921, a young man, while serving in the Red Army Intelligence, was captured by bandits, and Nikolai was sentenced to death, but at the last moment it turned out that the detachment lacked a scribe. And Tokarev's son was taught to read and write. This saved his life, and also made it possible to plan an escape. Nikolai Fedorovich married Irina Vladimirovna Shelopova, the great-great-granddaughter of the sister of the Decembrist Yevgeny Obolensky. According to family legend, her paternal grandmother Maria Fyoktistovna Krasnaya was the daughter of Alexander II in this marriage. The granddaughters of Fyodor Vasilyevich Irina and Alexander were born. The great-grandson of Tokarev Vladimir became a military specialist and a member of the Society of the Descendants of the Decembrists after the victory of the Soviet troops at Stalingrad. Fedor Vasilyevich took all his savings to the bank 50,000 rubles. And then he wrote a letter to Joseph Stalin, where he said that he was donating money to the Red Army. The great gunsmith passed away on June 7, 1968. The cause of death was a chronic illness. Tokarev was buried in Tula at the All Saints Cemetery. Two years later, a monument was erected on the grave and a memorial plaque in the house where the master lived. A street in the new part of the city of Sestroretsk is also named after him.